hello and welcome back to the channel today we're doing a video not about dolls even though my dolls are in the background i'm gonna show everything i got in japan in more detail because i just did like a really short video if there's background noise i'm sorry that's my family um family's family they're gonna be loud so i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah i might just jump right into it now um you might have already seen what I got, but I just wanted to show you more detail. And also, um, I was wearing the headband I got in Japan in my last video the whole time. So that was from Japan. So I'll ju just start with that. Everything's on the side here, so I'm going to grab each thing. The first thing I got... Now, I'm actually going to pull my chair closer that has everything on it. Oh my gosh, that made a horrible sound. I'm going to move everything closer. So that I don't have to reach for everything in an annoying way. Okay, hopefully that's close enough. The first thing I got was Japanese tea. Now this one is green tea and hojicha? Oh my god, I can hear my sister screaming in the background. Um, this is green tea and this is hojicha. Uh, I obviously already opened one and I drink two or three tea bags from it already, so I don't know what this one tastes like. But I got those two. I'm just gonna place everything down that I'm not using right now. Now, that one I got as a gift. This one was from the airport in Japan. Um, yeah, it was in the airport in Japan. I really needed a toothbrush, and there was a set of three Hello Kitty toothbrushes, and I have a few siblings, so I got one, and I gave it to some of my siblings, and then one is for me. This is what it looks like. Now there's going to be a glare. Oh my god, I wish everyone would be quiet. But uh, here's the toothbrush. It was a necessity. Um, I ended up using a different toothbrush, even though I needed it desperately, um, because I thought this one was too cute to use, so I bought, like, a 90-cent one at a different part of the airport. Um, then I have two keychains. One is Karomi. This was at Sanrio. And one is, I don't know how to say this one, but it's kind of like a cotton themed one and these two are gifts for my friends so they're not for me but I still got them because I promised my friends I would get them something but I had to get something small because I couldn't take a lot back um now I'm gonna skip that one because it's not important nobody cares about the one that I just showed no not the one that I just showed the one that I threw on the ground that one's not important um this is Karomi I mean you're just going to start seeing a pattern here. This is Karomi, and it's a blue Karomi. Blue is my favorite color, so I saw a big version of this, and I really, really wanted the big version. But I had already gotten a big version of a different Karomi, so I got the small version. And it's blue, and it was 24,000 yen. I don't know how much US dollars that is. Probably around $20, something like that. Um, could have been more expensive, but this is really, really cute. It's like a little flower here and a little butterfly and then her chromey symbol and she looks so adorable. And she has a cute little summer dress on and she's super fluffy. I love her. I love her so much. She's going to join my many stuffed animals that are on my bottom shelves because I don't have room for them elsewhere right now. My hair's crazy. Okay. Next is the Pom Pom Corian headband, and it actually kind of matches my outfit, not, but I'm not going to wear it because I wore it last time. Um, I got this at Sanrio. I didn't go a ton of places in Japan, so um, that's why there's not actually a ton of stuff. It was my first time, so I didn't really know where to go. Um, here are the Sanrio bags that everything came in. They're really cute, and I'm probably going to keep them even though they're just, like, disposable bags. 
Um, next is something really important if you go to Japan, which is hand towels. They do not have paper towels in Japan. They only have hand dryers that a lot of times don't work because they were closed for COVID. So you need to carry hand towels around with you. Um, I have three hand towels here. I also have a uh, cinema roll themed one that's actually in my bag because I use it. Um, these ones I haven't used yet, but I probably will end up using them uh, eventually. I think only two of these are hand towels. This one must be like a... I don't know which one this one is. It's bigger, so I don't know what I use it for properly in the bathroom or something like that, but these ones are for carrying around with you. And it's a, like, 100% cotton. I don't know what flower this is. Probably Sakura? Maybe not? I'm not sure. And then this one has, like, piggy banks on it. They're both pink. And the last one has sushi on it. And not all- oh no wait, it's not sushi. This is onigiri. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still not well versed. Um, this one was a blind figure, like in a blind box, and I got it at a hobby store for like two dollars. So that was nice. Um, it's from Breeze Zero, I believe, and I don't know which character this is. Don't come at me. I don't know anime as well. And more. Um, this is a little birthday charm for my birthday month. It's a little teddy bear. It's pink. I like blue, but the October one was pink. And these I got in Harkone. And this one is a phone charm, I think. I don't know the prices of everything, sorry. This is a big cone plushie. Well, kind of big considering um, what I could take in the suitcase. Um, I don't know the price of this one because I don't know if it's on the tag or not. It's like a monochrome chromey, and I just thought it was really adorable. So I got a lot of chromey things, two chromey plushies. So this one's going to join my other stuffed animals if I can find the room for it. Last thing I got was something that I don't know how many people get this in Japan, but I think a lot of people when they go to Japan will get this. Chopsticks. Um, my chopstick skills are not like superior. They're not great, but I can pick up things. <laughs> I can't like get the last grain of rice in the bowl, but I can do my best. And this was also a gift. Um, so I was able to go to Japan and I hope I will be going back, um, possibly in September, but I don't know yet. If I go in September, I probably will be going to um, a doll store and checking out the dolls, but I don't think I'll be able to bring one back. That's sad, but it's okay. I want to see the dolls. So next time I will probably be going to one of the doll stores which they have doll stores in Japan. I just didn't go this time, which is kind of sad, but I will go next time. Um, the last few things I got are clothes items. They're not that interesting because they're mostly like, oh, I, I needed something for work or something like that. So like these green pants, I got these at, um, what's it called? I don't remember what the store is called, but we have it in America. Um, yeah, just some green work pants. Um, uh, a work shirt. Oh, I got it at Uniqlo. Just like plain. No, more fun things is, oh, this is inside out. I must have worn it because I absolutely love it. I got this at the airport because I needed a shirt that didn't like the shirt I was using currently was not great. It wasn't great it wasn't comfortable so i need something more comfortable for the plane flight back so i got this tokyo shirt and it's really nice i love it and i wear it all the time that's everything i got in japan actually it's only been 10 minutes and i've shown everything so that's all